So I want to spend a few minutes talking about topologically associated domains, which are one of the first set of features of chromatin interactions that people observed uh, when the 3C based assays first came out. And so I've mentioned a number of times now uh, the term topologically associated domain. So an obvious question then is, you know, what do these TADs represent? And so basically here in part A of this diagram, I'm showing you uh, a cartoon diagram of the nucleus. And I'm showing you how uh, chromosomes tend to segregate into chromosomal territories. Or chromosomal territory is basically just a region of the nucleus um, where a particular chromosome tends to reside more frequently than you'd expect by chance. And so the idea of TADs is that uh, chromosomal territories are kind of a, a nuclear organization feature at the at the level of like entire chromosomes. So TADs are uh, organize are certain organizational elements of the genome at a smaller scale, so at a higher level of resolution. And so TADs are typically short, or not short, but they're typically uh, subsegments of a chromosome where you see a lot of interactions within the TAD, a lot of physical interactions within the TAD, but not so much between TADs. And so the idea of a TAD is that within a TAD, um, these TADs are typically um, bounded by certain types of regulatory elements like CTCF binding sites. And within the TAD, you typically see a lot of crosstalk, a lot of interactions between, for example, uh, enhancers and promoters. And so the one of the um, working hypotheses of what these TADs represent is that um, the purpose of TADs is to kind of increase the amount of like cross-regulation between one enhancer, for example, and multiple target genes um, within the TAD, but it also helps these boundaries that are established by, for example, CTCF binding sites help prevent enhancers within this TAD that I'm showing you here, for example, from activating genes in other TADs or in other regions of the genome that are even beside this TAD. And so in terms of a high C contact map, again, TADs are basically visualized as uh, blocks on this diagonal of this TAD or of this high C map. And so here's a cartoon diagram just showing you hypothetically where uh, for two blocks on this high C map shown on the left, these would correspond to regions of the genome that are generally uh, in close proximity in the nucleus. And so again, another point which is worth mentioning is that TADs, uh, a single TAD unit consists of um, one, continu one continuous section of one chromosome, and but the TADs themselves can assemble into larger compartments, these AB compartments. And so again, the A compartment generally corresponds to transcriptionally active regions uh, where, again, act, uh, TADs belonging to the same A compartment can even interact between, between themselves, even though these are cross-TAD interactions. Um, those A compartment regions also tend to have um, higher gene density and more chromatin accessibility, more active histone modifications. So all of the features that you generally expect of uh, regions of the genome that are being actively transcribed. And so in contrast, uh, the B compartment where a lot of TADs related to, um, you know, that tend to be transcriptionally repressed. Um, so those B compartment TADs tend to correspond to or have a lot of like inactive regions, uh, gene deserts or heterochromatin, um, and just a lot of interactions between inactive regions of the genome. Um, and so, yeah, again, this is these A B compartments are one of the one of the big discoveries that HiC made uh, earlier on when the technology was first uh, first developed. And so, it's worth pointing out that, in particular, um, one of the functional consequences of this A versus B compartment is that the B compartment, for example, tends to associate itself with uh, different distinct nuclear structures. And so uh, compartment B, for example, tends to be found uh, close to the uh, nuclear lamina uh, that we talked about before. So they tend to form a lot of these LADs uh, that we were talking about earlier in the lecture. Um, and they also tend to sit in the interior near the nucleolus. Uh, whereas in contrast, the compartment A TADs uh, tend to sit in the, um, in the interior of the nuclear space. 
uh, between like the nucleolus and the lamina.